residents welcome back to the channel my name is mj i'm a realtor out here in las vegas nevada with the berkshire hathaway brand and here on this channel we tour all around the las vegas valley looking at builder model homes as well as existing inventory to make your next shopping experience for your next home all the more easy and on today's video we are actually going to be exploring one of my listings as you'll see on the signs about to cross over right about now we are up in Sun City Aliante. This is a 55 plus community, lots of amenities to speak of. Uh, this particular model is the Primrose model. It was built by Pulte Homes. And this particular floor plan has 1,420 square feet, three bedrooms, one and three quarter bathroom, as well as a separate primary suite, which is really nice. This home does sit on a large corner lot as you're looking right now. It is easy to maintain desert landscaping and we'll take a look in the backyard so I can show you that as well here in just a little bit. Sun City Aliante is a golf course community. Uh, this particular home is not on the golf course directly. It does have a little bit lower of a price point, but you still get those all those amenities that are inside of Sun City Summerlin. There's a nice little porch area. Put some chairs out there, have a nice sitting spot. A window right there goes to the eating nook off the kitchen and a quick look down the side of the house then we'll head back around to the front door to head on inside it does have a two bay garage there is a water softener in the garage as well, we'll take a lap around in there once we go inside there's the gate to the backyard access there's front door has a security gate installed and that said let's go ahead and head on inside now the entryway right here kind of breaks up the front room as well as the kitchen on the left which you're looking right now that's the living area as well as the dining room slider to the backyard there's a small doggy door installed there's the two extra bedrooms there, as well as the laundry room and full bathroom. Then there's the kitchen and dining area over here. Let's take a look in here first. The stainless steel appliances you're seeing in the kitchen here, which is the microwave, the stove, dishwasher, and refrigerator are gonna be all included. There's a view into the dining nook. There's access to the garage right there. Nice maple cabinetry matches with the granite countertop. I'll zoom in on the countertop here right about now. We're pretty granite, very simple. Works really well in this kitchen and the decor of the home overall. There's the pantry door right there. And the two bay garage. Water softener, 50 gallon water tank. Then there's some extra flooring if you need. And speaking of flooring, this home does include the diagonal cut ceramic tile, mostly throughout the home. However, the bedrooms do have the wood look laminate in there. Now I just realized I have this paper sitting in front of me with all these dimensions on there. The kitchen and dining nook up front was 20 foot by 13 foot eight. Then the garage was 20 foot by 20 foot. This laundry room right here is approximately four foot five by five foot five. And then I'll go over the remaining rooms once we go in there. There's a little closet there we just saw in the laundry room. There is a wire rack shelf in there as well as a washer and dryer, which is going to be included. This bedroom is nine foot five by 10 foot two. 
again with the wood look laminate as well as the ceiling fan on the ceiling. There's a closet there, standard size closet. We come out, there's a little coat closet right there next to the bathroom. And into bedroom three here. This particular bedroom is 11 foot eight by 10 foot two. Again, with the ceiling fan and the wood look laminate flooring. Very similar bedroom as to the previous. Closet on the right there, standard size. And the bathroom. This is going to be a full bathroom. It does have an adult size vanity there. Shower tub combo. Again with the maple cabinetry. There's a medicine cabinet in there as well. Coming out into the great room or the living area. This area is 26 foot 11 by 15 foot 11. Now keep in mind, this is a dining slash living area. Hence the small chandelier there. There's a cutout to the left here, which I'll show in just a second. That's going to be for your entertainment center. Ceiling fan in there. And then head over into the master suite here. This bedroom is 12 foot by 13 foot six. Nice French doors into the primary bathroom there and the walk-in closet. Ceiling fan in this room as well, as well as these large windows, which let in a ton of light. You look how big these windows are. It's a real nice backyard out there. I think you guys will really like it. It's very peaceful. And the primary bathroom here. You get dual vanities. Again, adult size vanity with the maple cabinetry. There's the walk-in closet here. Got fluorescent light on the ceiling with the wire rack shelving. Take a longer look into this bathroom here. This is going to be a three quarter bathroom. This is a walk in shower here There's some accessibility features with the handles in the shower there as well as on the outside right there too. That about wraps it up for inside. Let's check out this backyard. It's a really nice covered patio here, which is built onto the house, so it is stuccoed as well. And then on either side of this patio, there's the artificial turf, real nice trees, super easy to maintain. You don't literally have to do hardly anything out here, but maybe blow those leaves in the fall. There's a hose bib right around the corner on that left side by the garbage cans there. And then on the right side over here by the access gate, there is going to be a barbecue stub. Walk down here and we'll wrap up this tour. And that about wraps it up for today's tour. what did you think residents? Did you like the Primrose model? what do you think of the floor plan? What about the listing overall? Do you think it's gonna sell? What about that price point at 357.5? Is that where I need to be? Am I too high? Am I too low? Let us know in the comments below. Let's get a discussion started. I want to hear back from every single one of you. If you're interested in buying or selling right here in Las Vegas, give me a call. I'm more than happy to help you out. My phone number is in the description below as well as my email. Feel free to contact me, even if you just want to say hi. But anyway, that's going to about wrap it up for today's tour. If you did enjoy this content, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. It does help out the video in the YouTube algorithm so more people can get this content discovered just like you. If you do like this type of content and you want to see more of it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that bell notification so you don't miss a single video when I upload. But as for now, I'm going to wrap up this video and we'll see you guys around next time. Have a good one. Later.